up, y'all? What's going on, everybody? Time to get to our next Big Fat Quiz. This is yes. the Big Fat Quiz of the decade, what? dealing with all of the 2010s. All right. Basically, our, how how much have we been paying attention for from 2010 to 2019? We're, we're fortunate because we have recently just... These are recent in our memories, so hopefully they reuse some some questions. Yeah, Lord, I hope so. I <laughs> hope that so. would help. Uh, uh, we said we we're gonna do a handicap of two, but uh, we reserve the right to have three if we're feeling spicy. Yes, one hundred percent. All right, ready? I am ready. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to the big fat quiz of the decade, or as it's known in these more woke times, the beautiful. Big boned, celebrating its curves, quiz of the decade. Funny, <laughs> exciting, and beloved by the nation. But enough about me, let's meet the teams. <laughs> She's a talented, charismatic, universally loved TV star, and he's, I assume, her dad. It's Stacey Solomon and Jonathan Ross. <laughs> <laughs> he hosts a show full of current affairs, she hosts a show full of marital affairs. Oh. It's Nish Kumar and Claudia Winkleman. Take that off his deck. And between them, they are respectively the funniest thing to come out of Birmingham and the funniest thing to come out of the dentist's office. It's Joe Lysa and Alan Carr. Also check. Not now. Nice. You leave my wife alone. <laughs> yes. Hit him. Joe, hit him. Punch him. Yes. Oh, we really connected. <laughs> have you got like, a decade-themed team names? Have you got a team name? What have, what have you got, Jonathan? Well, we, initially, I came up with an idea which I thought was it was not too much to do with the decade, more to do with what's going on now. I thought because we're sticking together and we're, we're always here, whether you, you can't get rid of us, whether you want to or not, so I thought we'd call ourselves the Unimpeachables, right? <laughs> but we're not going with that because when I suggested that to Stacey, she said, no, give us the reason. Because I really like peaches. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong impression. Yes, I think a lot of people would watch yeah. and think, ah, oh, Stacey Solomon doesn't like peaches. Exactly. <laughs> well, there, well, then where are you going to be? Exactly. So what we've settled on, Jimmy, is we've been talking about the period that we're focused on tonight, and we're both big fans. We're genuinely big fans of this young man. We so are. we're going to call ourselves... The Believers. The uh, True Believers, over here. Jason Bieber. <laughs> That's how much a <laughs> bigger fan I am. No. I'm sorry about saying... I'm sorry about <laughs> earlier when I said you were Stacey's dad. I think Grandad is more appropriate than <laughs> The Believers. Uh, God. Oh, what a... It's low-key, like, the perfect burn ever. Like, Jason Bieber. Uh, <laughs> bro. Yes, bro. I have now become an immortal fan of his because of that. Jason Bieber. <laughs> Jason, because that uh, Jason Bieber nailed it. Don't know who that is, but he's a believer. Oh, love that. <laughs> Are you a fan of rapper Jake or Degrassi Jake? Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Claudia, Nish, what you got? You're in charge of this. We are called Means Dexit. This is the end of the decade, and we're exiting the decade. And if we've learned one thing in this decade, is that if you say something means something, it's not just a great thing to say, it's a completely viable way to run a government. Okay. Alan, Joe, what you got? Lads, because that's what we are, aren't it, Joe? We're a trio of lads. <laughs> so, yeah, how's your decade been? I've got a picture of you ten years ago, Jonathan. So Let's have a look. This is how you looked ten years ago. Wow. Oh, <laughs> you look like Lauren okay. Llewellyn's Bowie. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Uh, so, Stacey, ten years ago. Oh! I've got a picture of Claudia ten years ago. Now, uh, it looks the same. <laughs> it's orange. <laughs> it's exactly the same. I found a photo of me where I wasn't orange, but don't panic. <laughs> I was. Now, Nish, you do not look like the same human. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can see the decade on my face. Here's Alan, who's no, you ten no. years ago. Oh. And that's when you were working as a basil brush tribute actor. <laughs> I would not feel embarrassed about that for one second, no. because <laughs> Joe Lysett ten years ago, treat yourselves, everyone. Damn. <laughs> Go, I think you're a very pretty little girl. <laughs> all right, let's get on with the show. Our first round is all about the decade's top news stories. So let's remind ourselves what we lived through. Environmentalists describe the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill as the worst environmental disaster in centuries, which left Chernobyl residents rolling their eyes. All three of them. <laughs> in 2012, a spate of celebrity tax scandals hit the headlines. Personally, I had my anus horribilis, which is Latin for I shat myself. So, uh, questions on the headlines from the decade. First up, take a look at this clip from BBC News. All I want to know is, what 2015 news story was the reporter trying to recreate? And having made the holes, we couldn't resist seeing how easy it was to actually get through. I'm told it's possible. It looks very, very, very tight. I'm also told the best way to do it is to use the Superman pose. 
So I'm going to put my right hand through first, work my way through. My that God. is very tight. I'm struggling to get my second hand. That is just Oh my. Right. Push from behind. Tom wants you to give me a bit of a push. Oh my God. Okay. I've got my hand out now. Once that hand's out, it's possible to crawl out. There you are. Oh my God. So he said he was needed to do the Superman pose. What he did instead was the Hitler pose. I'm not going to recreate it. Go through there. The Superman pose is, is yeah, that. Is, that's not how you do a Superman pose at, at, at all. No. So what new story was he trying to recreate? I want to say El Chapo's escape. Okay. I had nothing. So I'll go with that. Uh, that's all I got. I, I need a lot more information than just that. <clears throat> What news story was he recreating That's from 2015? That's what I'm asking you. That <laughs> Which one? That's what you're asking me. <laughs> Jimmy, how do you like it when you get questions? It's question one. Just, like, act it out a bit more. Where are they? Oh, you've what? got it, right, Jonathan? We've got it. Stacey? What? we got it. I'm on Tell Jonathan's me. team. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Next, what 2013 scandal prompted a surge in sales of home meat grinders and mincers, mm. wiped 300 million from Tesco's market value, oh. and was described by David Cameron as a shocking story. That could have been our team name, Grinders and Mincers. <laughs> I think it was the scandal of uh, minced meat in sold in Tesco's was... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Can we change it? Can we change yeah, it? Yeah, Grinders I, and yeah, Mincers. No, it makes me sound a bit gay. <laughs> I'm very masculine, actually. <laughs> Are you sticking or switching? I think Grinders and Mincers is fine. Grinders and Mincers, can we change it? Grinders okay, Grinders and Mincers it is. <laughs> Of course, it wouldn't be the Big Fat Quiz if we didn't have an appearance from the children of Mitchellbrook Primary School. Here they are performing one of their very special school plays. Oh no! Mr. President, there's been an accident. We must rescue everyone. We're three! We don't need these. 21, 22, 33. We have saved everyone! Yay! Miners got, they rescued them. Yep. Like yep. that actually mine for minerals, not small young people. Okay. <laughs> I'm the one that has the bad jokes, not uh, you. The Chilean <laughs> miners. They were, how young were they? Jesus Christ. Shut the fuck up, uh. man. So that was the uh, children of Mitchell Brook Primary School uh, creating the uh, Chilean miners uh, rescued. Oh, uh, was that not a question? W oh. No, because we thought that was pretty easy. Oh, come oh. on! We filled oh, in. Oh, yeah, the miners were rescued, yay! We put that answer down. Yeah, the, no the, space. The, we haven't done the question yet. Well, you need to explain that, out. Jimmy. Okay, yeah, here's the question. One of the miners, Yoni Barrios, wasn't met by his wife of 28 years when he finally emerged from the mine. Can you remember why? Oh. Okay, was the person, did they not meet his wife? Because the wife died? Or? Didn't, he didn't meet his wife. I, I Yeah, or she remarried or something. I, on any one of those answers will be locked in as the answer. Johnny's wife not there to meet him. Mm. Okay, 2010, a natural phenomenon caused Miley Cyrus to miss the London premiere of her film, John Cleese to pay £3,000 for a taxi <laughs> ride. And Sorry, David what? Attenborough, I thought a fire alarm had gone off. What was that? <laughs> that was when we both knew something and worked it out without yeah. speaking. And the thing we knew was the answer to your goddamn question. <laughs> You're like a neutral bullet with a fringe. Oh, that's the best thing anybody has ever said to me. <laughs> Again, again, again. Okay. In 2010, a natural phenomenon caused Miley Cyrus to miss the London premiere of her film, John Cleese to pay £3,000 for a taxi ride, and David Attenborough to become trapped in the Arctic Circle. What was it? What happened? Look at David. Okay, something about computers has to be. Miley Cyrus missed a plane, John Cleese had to pay an exorbitant amount for a taxi, and then... David Atbrus trapped in Arctic Circle. Yeah, I would say the shit. Was it the the airlines were hacked? Yeah, yeah. It was anonymous. Was behind it. Yeah. David Attenborough. Isn't he got the, the sweetest man on the planet? Oh, do you yeah. know this is really hard to write on here. Well, you don't have to write that. I was just chatting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Finally, Nigel Farage has had quite the decade. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nigel Farage has had quite the decade, culminating in the Leave campaign winning the Brexit referendum in 2016. But back in 2015, 
Farage's former senior advisor revealed they had Farageism and used the initials PFL to describe something he liked to do once a week. Oh. What did it stand for, PFL? I think it might be this. If that's yes. it... I'm going to do a roly-poly. I I no, no. If that's it, you're going to do a roly-poly. Well, sometimes I don't know how else to celebrate. Oh, I'm very much looking forward to the roly-poly section of the show. OK, what is it? Uh, I don't know if I want to know. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. This is the one where I'm like, I had no clue at all. Mm -hmm. Ready for some answers? Well, yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm lovely from Grinder and Minter there. <laughs> Some answers. First up, I asked you what news story from 2015 was this BBC news reporter gallantly trying to recreate by climbing through a hole? What did you put? Well, first of all, we thought maybe it was something to do with shades of grey. Or cheese. <laughs> Strong. Or, Strong. Or, or, or cheese. Yeah. Stacey was big on the cheese answer. Oh, it really what did you think like it had a to... big stone cheese, didn't it? <laughs> so yeah. Stone cheese. Yeah. It did. <laughs> But no, we think we know the answer there is that is that he was demonstrating how the Hatton Garden robbers got in through the holes they ah. drilled into the safe deposit box area. So we've that got is Hatton absolutely oh, the right come answer. On. That's why, see, so that's a UK shit right there. Obviously. Yeah. The whole thing of Big Fat Quiz has been like uh, pop culture. Yeah, so. that was my fault. I brought in El Chapo. Elephant, very right. similar, except he was getting out of prison, not into safety deposit boxes. So, Dan. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Uh, Claudia you got it. Yeah. 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 Well, what have you... You've written Hatton Garden and Sent to Heist, but what, was the, what have you written above it? We've written Jimmy Looks So Fit, and if you want to give us a point for that, that's up to you. <laughs> Extra point for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, the Hatton Garden Heist. There were six men, uh, the Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company, uh, reportedly took £200 million worth of uh, jewellery. Thieves were nicknamed uh, Mr Ginger, Mr Strong, Mr Montana, the Gent, the Tall Man and the Old Man. <laughs> I think the Old Man is a bit confusing in that group. <laughs> they all look like very old men. The one in the middle at the top looks like his neck has got legs. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I asked you, uh, what led to a surge in sales of meat grinders and mincers in 2013? What, what about Alan, Joe? The horse, horse meat scandal. It was a scandal. Yes. <laughs> about horse meat. Oh, about horses and their meat. <laughs> Nish, horse meat <laughs> scandal, James. Uh, what, what did you get, Jonathan? Stacey? Well, first of all, Stacey just wrote horses. <laughs> and then I drew a horse. And, of a two-headed horse. <laughs> <laughs> that is a scandal. Yeah, yeah, but we put horses meat as well, uh, because it was in lasagna, wasn't it? In, in lasagna? La <laughs> lasagna <laughs> brander! So it's, it's actually food, <laughs> you <laughs> Oh, you're not backing down on this? You're going it's, with the lasagna? It's lasagna! Yeah, it is lasagna. <laughs> It doesn't matter because it wasn't in lasagna, oh, it was in spaghetti bolo and house. The horse meat scandal was pretty serious. There was horse meat in our food, but the guy from Iceland absolutely nailed the PR. Here's an interview he did. Constantly testing, checking, week. Did we test for horse? No. But we haven't tested for dog or cat either. <laughs> and there might be dog and cat. You can't test for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, true. Yeah. He was about, um... A bit too early for that one because 2024, nope. they're eating the dogs. Oh they're my eating the god! Cats. They're eating the pets. Jesus. <sighs> yep. I'm sorry. I had to. You saw the children of uh, Mitchell Primary School and I asked you why Yoni's wife did not come to meet him when he uh, got out of that mine. What, what do you think? Well, we think we we don't know, but we think is he having an affair? Yeah, we th maybe that it was revealed as an affair, although you thought maybe she went to the wrong mine as well. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> <laughs> but I remember watching this, yeah, and did you watch it? It was quite boring because they were down there for ages, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering whether they could have put like a little Love Island spin on it and sent like halfway through, sent a thick miner in. Pass <laughs> it up a bit, you know. Very good idea. And the next time we have a miner, <laughs> we'll definitely get, get you involved. Thank you. <laughs> Claudia, what did you put for this? Well, we, I didn't know. I thought it was that she'd been having an affair. Like, I remember there was a story where a wife and a mistress turned up and met each other, and that's how they discovered oh, the affair. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, and then, basically, he was scuppered because he sent his washing up. They all sent their washing up to be done by their wives. That's it. And, and his wife oh, went, I'm not doing they... your washing, and I'm not going to give it to your mistress to do. <laughs> so he had to beg the other miners to borrow clothes. Absolutely. <laughs> well, so while they were trapped in there, they were getting their cleaning done? Yeah. They were seeing the wash... Why didn't they just go out the fucking hole at the washing machine? <laughs> Why did they do that? The hole was only five inches wide. Oh, uh, that'll do it. 
Now, what did you put for this, Stacey? Oh, well, we went with which of his lies. Well, we're not. The wife was. <laughs> we thought maybe she, she, he was making excuse. Ah, oh, 39 days in a mind. Bullshit. <laughs> she an excuse. Or oh. she was probably busy. Yeah. Just a busy mum. If yeah. Joe said, I'm trapped down a mine, will you come and meet me when I get out? I'd say, no, don't be ridiculous, I'll see you at home. Yeah. <laughs> you don't pick them up from the airport, right, after a couple of years. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I'm late at 5am. OK, yeah. good luck. <laughs> pick me up when you come in. <laughs> and bring me a Toblerone, you dick. Yeah. <laughs> no points, points. That's tough. He said that affair. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that. So, yeah, two points now. But that's tough. That's yep. really tough. <laughs> okay, I asked you what natural phenomenon disrupted plans for everyone, including Miley Cyrus, John Cleese, and David. Oh, Abra. natural phenomenon. Yes. We... Oh. Hold on, time out. Let's just a uh, real quick brainstorm session because he said natural phenomenon. Natural. Oh man, was was, was tsunami? Was that a tsunami that happened? Nah, that, that that probably didn't have anything to do with it. But <sighs> what? Like, was in retrograde then? I have no idea. I want to say. Ah, uh, fucking solar flare. Okay, okay. <laughs> Earthquake solar flare. That's All right. It. We've thrown some stuff at the wall. Let's see yeah. if any of it sticks. Yes. We all the volcano? The Icelandic volcano. I'm going to need the name of the volcano. Oh. oh, no. oh really I'm going to tell you what, if you can pronounce it, you get a point. I'll put it up on the screen. Okay. You just pronounce it and you get a point. <laughs> there it is. Oh, That's, yeah, for like 10. Exactly. In fact, when I went to the UK this, uh, this year, the um, flight coming in that uh, the, the was still erupting in Iceland, and it was a hell of a sight to see on the plane. So, oh, oh my God, <sighs> goodness! Just pronounce it. It's very easy. Is oh, it is lasagna? It? lasagna. <laughs> Do you think it should be pronounced, Jonathan? Hey, uh, fire yokel. Let's let's it. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Just got to get a bonus point for that. It was remarkable. Um, okay, lost you what uh, the Faragism. PFL stood for. I'm going to go straight to Nish on this because you're a big fan of him. I have a suspicion it was pint for lunch. Um, no, uh, you're very close with that, but you're not right. Oh, uh, no. uh, pepper army face lunatic. <laughs> and you, you've gone for, uh, Stacey? Well, I think I remember reading somewhere that his team said that he, he went and he said he had to have a proper fucking lunch, is what he said. <gasps> that went, is exactly uh... the right answer, which he described as being three or four bottles of wine once a week, a proper fucking lunch. Oh, my God. Oh, you, would, wow. you would think, though, with that much wine at lunch, that maybe it would affect your decision making ability. <laughs> but... So at the end of the first round, let's. <laughs> proper that. fucking lunch, like yeah, four fat. bottles of wine. Yeah. I, uh, I have to agree with him on that. I don't, probably don't agree with him on much, but you know what? I probably agree with him on that one. Everyone but, should have a proper fucking lunch once a week. Yeah, at least once. It's good for the soul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two, point, two points. Two points. Yeah. 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 Funny, man. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I like I, that a lot. Proper fucking lunch. I, I can just imagine him saying that in his head. I just need a proper fucking lunch. Like PFL. Yeah. That's what we go with. When I come up to you in November, I think one of the days I'm up there, we got to go have a proper fucking lunch. Yep. It has it, to with happen. the Nigel Farage definition of it. Yes. Let's take a look at the scores. Uh, Jonathan Stacey have five. Claudia Nish have four. Alan Joe have four. Ooh. 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 I catch up. Join yep. us after the break. We're just like a Tinder date. We'll be promising you a good time, but it'll all end up going a bit drunken and weird. See you then. Yeah. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Decade. Our next round is all about music. Ed Sheeran has sold more than 150 million records in the last decade. He's very much the breadsticks of music, the lemon and herb Nando's chicken of music, the missionary with the lights off of music. Basically, what I'm saying is, I bloody love Ed Sheeran. In 2016, Beyonce released her critically acclaimed album Lemonade. The songs on Lemonade were about feminism and female empowerment, and I, for one, think it's the best album ever made by Jay-Z's wife. Time for some more questions. Okay. First off, play Jimmy. Played. I like that. Very nice. Very nice. Over to supermodel Jordan Dunn. Hey Jimmy, as a model, I've worn hundreds of designer outfits on the runway over the years. Louis Vuitton, Valentino, Prada to name a few. Which is why I was intrigued to hear that an Armani cape made headlines after the 2015 Brit Awards. But can your teams remember why? Did she say an Armani fit? After the 50, I, 2015 Brit Awards. Outside of my scope. That's yeah. not my world right there. Yeah, not mine either. Moving on. No. Awards. But can your teams remember why? Did she say cake? No, cake? I think she said cake. cake. Then I know. Yeah. An Armani cape? Yeah. But you thought it might have been cake. 
How do you go with that? <laughs> Next, I want to know what iconic item from 2010 has been specially preserved by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a form of jerky. What? what? When you say they preserved it as jerky, was it not jerky before? No. <laughs> what the hell was it then? <laughs> well, what's jerky made out of? Uh, oh, 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 Osborne that, that he uh, bit off. Was that uh, it? Uh, are you serious? They I preserved don't know. that? Who I, saved I just, that? That'd be crazy. I just heard jerky and meat. So, animal. That's how my mind works. Yeah, I'm there with you. Yep. Uh, oh, yes! Deal with it! Sometimes I think I would not be best advised to play poker. Silento released Watch Me in 2015. It was a huge hit, 1.6 billion views on YouTube. It featured a number of dance moves he wanted the audience to watch him do. Can you name three of them? Yes, I can. What? <laughs> That's not the Watch Me Whip, Watch Me Nay Nay one. I have no idea. Silento? Does that ring a bell? No, nah, not at all. But I've nope. got two out of the three. Yep. Uh, the Whip, Nay Nay. Uh, Dougie, Soldier. I'm just throwing ones out. Yeah, I'm hoping that they Ho stick. Hopefully, some of them go through. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy, if he's right, would you demonstrate the dances for us? One hundred percent. I <laughs> thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Is there a theme with this? <laughs> no, they're well, the all random. Quiz. Yes, it's questions from the decade. No, I. I... <laughs> Next, you to Channel 4 Newsroom and the one and only Jon Snow. He's reporting on one of the biggest songs of the decade. Can you guess which one? Take it away, Jon. An incident of antisocial behaviour has been reported after a group of revellers insisted upon staying up all night to honour what they're calling the Legend of the Phoenix. Those reporting the disturbance claimed that the ringleaders wore helmets to cover their identities and that the entire group have been seen to raise their cups to the stars, citing the force of love as their beginning. An official statement from the group explained that they were doing this for good fun, with some partaking in order to get some. They all insist that they have come too far to give up who they are. However, it has been reported that some of the group are displaying signs of disorientation, with one questioning what keeps the planet spinning. Uh, more updates as we get them. Back to you, Jimmy. Get Lucky yeah. by Daft Punk and Pharrell. Yeah, yeah. Lastly, Obrak was described by Boris Johnson as the greatest cultural masterpiece of 2012, by NME as hideously catchy, and went on to become the first YouTube video to ever hit a billion views. Ooh. Oh, oh that's so Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's get some answers. Jordan Dunn asked you uh, why an Armani made the headlines following the 2015 Brit Awards. Claudia Winkleman. Because uh, Madonna, it was a high too tight. She fell off the stage and it was off. Stacked it. It was all her. Because she's the queen. <laughs> what what did you get, Alan? It killed Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> I felt sorry because she was like a really depressed Scottish widow looking like she was trying to end it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jonathan, Stacey, did you get this? We, we yes. put Madonna. I mean, are you. Madonna? Madonna? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're like a policeman in a lower low. <laughs> <laughs> Is Madonna the same lady? Madonna, okay. <laughs> Madonna from the, from the other. Madonna from the long I know West. Madonna. <laughs> no, Madonna. Madonna. That picture of Madonna, Madonna like, like lasagna. Madonna. Okay, points all round on that. We've all right. That. Um, well next, I asked what iconic item from 20. 2010 was preserved by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as jerky. What do you put? Oh. Winkleman immediately in with this answer. Oh, oh my God! My God, that's so obvious. And it was a question in one of the other big fat quizzes. So. Oh my God, that was so obvious, bro. Oh Shit. man, I was just thinking all of rock and yeah. roll history, not 2010. I, I don't. When I hear rock and roll, I don't hear Lady Gaga. I, it's not it, that, but that's obvious. Shit. I was excited. Well, let's go to Alan and Joe first. Uh -oh. Cliff Richard Dick. <laughs> Cliff Richard Dick is the correct answer. Yes, That's Cliff fine. Richard Dick. He wasn't using it, so they preserved it in the rock and roll. But no, obviously not. We haven't seen it since 2010, <laughs> have we? <laughs> it's not the most absurd thing because someone's got Napoleon's dick. That's, that's been preserved. Also, and that... crucially, Napoleon is dead. But <laughs> Biff hasn't had a hit for a while, has it? When you say someone's got Napoleon's dick, is that real? Someone's someone's got yeah, Napoleon's yeah, someone's dick. When you say someone, then, have you got Napoleon's dick? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you've got some weird stuff in your house. I do have an extensive collection of historical genitalia. <laughs> well, your own, for a start. <laughs> Gloria, Nish, what'd you put? We knew it. 
Lady Gaga's meat dress. Winkle them straight in with it. That's what it was made from. Did you get this, Stacey, Jonathan? Yeah, it yes. took a lot of convincing. If you make jerk something, then it goes in like a vacuum pack or in a jar, and I just don't understand how they got it so small. Should we have a look? Baby, we can have a look. Just... Is have it... a look. Yeah, I'd love to have a look. There you go. Yeah, you got it right. There it oh is. Oh, my God. Oh. Dude. Wow. I wouldn't eat that. Ever. None. No. I don't care how hungry I am. I'm not no. having that. Nope. Never. Especially when Jack Link's beef jerky is uh, is available, and that's that. By the way, is my favorite savory convenience store snack is beef jerky. Mm. I'm not having that. I'm sorry. Nope, nope. not at all. They just hang it. In. <laughs> <laughs> on this oh, you they, seem very disappointed. They package it so people could buy it. Oh, <laughs> so points, points, no points. I asked you to name three dance moves mentioned in the Watch Me okay. video. Did you get these? Can we get a point for each answer we mentioned? Oh, well, if you can do them all, I will give you points. So, what's the first one? So, I've got Nene. Well, show me the Nene. What's the Nene? I think, is it this? I thought you were riding no, the horse, uh, <laughs> It's, it's, it's not more that kind of move. That's, That's the one, I'll show you the Nene. Here's him doing the Nene, but I think I've nailed it. <laughs> what's the next then, one you got? Then we got Bob. The Bop. I think the Bop is down. Let's have a look at the Bop. Oh, that, I that, love that one. That's a good squash those. <laughs> you have to, do, have to pop the hands too. Oh, God. <laughs> that's tough on the junk. What's the next one? Whip. You're going to be on Strictly, Claudia. Am I doing all right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you are. For, for a week or two. What's that? <laughs> so what's the next one? Superman. Fine. Next one. God, you've got all of these. I think. Okay, I said Superman. You that's part it. of the Soldier Boy. So we got it. Is it three points or one point? I think it's just one point, unfortunately. Just one point. Okay. This is what is called skanky leg. Thank you, Leg. I believe you're referring to Stanky Leg. Oh. Yeah, Stanky Leg. <laughs> you may have Stanky Legs, but the, st the Stanky Leg is, is that, isn't it? Oh. It's that one. I think I'd rather have sk than Stanky Leg. <laughs> stanky Leg. And then what was the last one? Uh, and then we ran out. So. Well, I chipped in with, I think I know my dark modern dance, we'll put the okie cokey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you missed the duff and the break your leg. Oh. So three points. What, what did you get, Claudia? And you get this? Then, then I just took over and wrote push, and then I wrote the Jimmy Carr. For an extra point. That's just where you go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you get two points, you get three points. Uh, we got three okay. points. So we got three points for that one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's go. A second. Yes. <laughs> I said I'd give you a point for each if you got them all, but you didn't get them all. Oh, but but you, then you changed the rules to a point for each. They just got two. We, got we should have got, got five. five. Basically got if five. If we're doing it that way. No? You were going to get a bonus point if you got them all. So you're saying a point for each up to three. <laughs> Past that, you just get one point for all of them. That's not fair. <laughs> just. I feel like I've been done out of so many points. Yeah. Probably yeah. the only question in this quiz right. that I might know, Jimmy. And you're taking <laughs> Five <laughs> points for Jonathan and yeah. Stacey. Uh, See, if they could bend the rules like that, y'all can't come at us for uh, using handicaps and shit. Exactly. And Joe, what did you get? Nay, nay, whip and hokey cokey. Okay, yeah. we couldn't think. I've never even heard of this bloody song. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. Jon Snow had special news about one of the biggest songs of the decade. Or what did you think it was? Did you all get this? Those silly old punks. Daft Punk and Get Lucky. So you got the artist, you got yeah. the song, and you got uh, Daft Punk, Get Lucky. <laughs> and Alan and Joe probably got it. I said Chem Sex Party by Little Mix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Let's go across to John Snow for the answer. She's up all night to the sun. Awesome. I asked if you knew what song was the first YouTube video to hit 1 billion views, described by Boris Johnson as the greatest cultural masterpiece of 2012. What did you all put? Gangnam. Gangnam. So it's Gangnam. not Gangnam. Let's listen like, to Gingham. it. Let's everybody dance. Gingham's Let's go and get a burger. Style, right? yes. Please, we do it. Well, here we go. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Okay, okay. I'm getting some fish. Okay, I'm sorry. No worries. I'll see ya. Okay. <laughs> I love that. I just saw the lights go. Kaboom. I was like, oh shit. Are you good? <laughs> no, right, I'm good. Right. Got a family cool. friend coming by for some fish. That's it. Hey, gotta love that. I was like, what just happened? <laughs> I was oh, dancing shit. the Gangnam style way too hard. Yeah, I was like, dude, you're making yeah. electrical janky. I would leave that in. Don't even worry about adding that shit. That's awesome. Mm -hmm.
but we got the point. We got yep. the point. Yep. How does that put our uh, five, total? One, two, three, four, five. We're, we're at seven, bro. Seven. All right, cool. That was amazing. Now it's gang them style by side. Time now for our first bonus round. Ooh. This is the part of the show Ooh. where I introduce some mystery guests. Oh. All you oh. have to do is guess who they are. You can only ask them yes or no questions. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our mystery guests. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? Good. Very nice to have you here. So just yes or no questions. Oh. They've all had a hell of a decade <laughs> for the same reason. Do you live together? No. No. Is that your dog? No. Have you brought the dog because you are dog sitting, or is the dog an, an important part so of the story? So you thought they were on the show, but they were dog sitting. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I better bring this with us. I said I'd take care of it. <laughs> Our neighbours are away on holiday. You so should not. Imagine I've been having in. a walk and come through the wrong door. <laughs> Do you want? Would you like us to stop the quiz until we can find the owner of the dog? <laughs> you clearly rescued on the way. Can I ask the young man? Have you been watching the rest of the program? No. That is a great relief. Yeah. <laughs> we were a bit rude earlier. We were quite sweary. Well, was the story all over the world, or was it just in... Oh. Just in Great Britain. They all oh. did exactly the same thing. They're all equally yeah. relevant. Did you work together in something quite special that people look forward to? <laughs> they didn't work together. But you were in the same thing. Yeah, they were in the same thing, but they did not work together, but, and it is something but, that people look forward to. Were you in the same thing at the same time, just not in the same scenes in the same thing at the same time? Uh, no, yes. Is it were a you... show? Were you in a show? No. no. Does the dog ice skate? Where did you get your top from? It's really <laughs> Is it something to do with Christmas? Yes. <gasps> oh, the ad. Dude, oh, I know it. is I that know the it. jumping <laughs> dog on the trampoline? Yeah, it has to be. Is this all them? Yeah, I think so. In I think that John Lewis Christmas ad. I, but I don't know what year it is. But I think because of our reference points of this, if it's John, Jonathan, Jonathan, John Lewis, I think we get the point. Dude, because that dog, granted, I don't know if that's the same dog, but if dog, little kid, random, random person holding the leash, John Lewis. That's what it screams to me. Write down your answers. I think we've got it. What have you got? We think that you were in a John Lewis Christmas yeah. advert a few years ago. Uh, Claudia Nish, what have you got? We think they were all in John Lewis Xmas ads and we've drawn a little Christmas tree. For an extra point. Um, <laughs> Alan, Joe, we've written John Lewis Christmas advert and we've not drawn a Christmas tree for an extra point. <laughs> well, tell us who you are and, and why you've had a brilliant decade. My name's Esme and this is Biff the Boxer. And my name's Ethan. We were all appeared in John Lewis Christmas ads oh. over the past decade. Oh. <laughs> Quite a lot. Who's so that? In 2011's advert, where she gets a present from her son, Ethan, in 2017 Aww. with Moz the Monster. Oh, and Biff, please. Biff, they are Biff, playing Buster, who jumped on a trampoline yeah. in 2016. Oh. Let's see what that did to the scores. So, uh, uh, Alan and Joe are lucky to have nine. Claudia <laughs> and Nish have 11. Jonathan and Stacey in the lead with 15. Yeah. All right, so we're yeah. at eight, so eight. we still got some catching up to do. We, we had to clean up around. That's what yeah. we got to do. Yeah, yeah. Before we break glass and get those, I've saved a couple of our last uh, handicaps, right? And I think totaling up all the, the big fat quizzes, we have a total of 10 saved handicaps, just in case you guys know. I made that up right here, but it could be possible. <laughs> so are you saying we should just dump <laughs> I'm all I'm just our saying, handicaps? I'm just saying, listen, it's Christmas time. I'm just saying we have we have a, a plethora of handicaps. Uh, it's without, September, you idiot. Well, not not then. We can only we can only see this through their eyes right now. So it's Christmas time. They're generous. You know what I mean? <laughs> we have ten or or twelve ish, depending on on round. Okay? All right, fine. Anything to make us look better, I will do. <laughs> Oh. One more time, give it up for Esme, Ethan, and Biff. Thank you very much. Ed. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Decade. Our next round is all about film and TV. In 2016, Netflix released Stranger Things. To be honest, the strangest thing about it was they found Winona Ryder. <laughs> yeah. Frozen was released in 2013 and featured Elsa, the unstoppable ice queen who could freeze the very air around her. Her only enemy, the patio heater. First, it's uh, Scarlet Moffat. Hey Jimmy, I love watching telly and this decade we've seen some amazing characters but can your teams tell me which world famous hero started the decade by becoming a strong George young man from Northampton then changing into a wiry Glaswegian before ending up as a determined Yorkshire woman. Oh it's a very Doctor Who. There you go. Yep. I think all the doctors, uh, I think that's what she's describing. Good question. 
I can hear uh, from Jonathan the sound of a fellow oh. absolute nerd. Yeah. Take a look at this picture of Ryan Gosling at the 2017 Oscars. Oh, yes, please. What had just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I sure will. You know. <laughs> it was uh, one movie was supposed to be the winner, but it wound up not being. La La Land wound up not winning. I think that's what it was. Oh, that's embarrassing. I think that's what it was. <laughs> what had just happened to leave him looking so embarrassed? Channel 4's Gogglebox was one of the biggest hits of the decade. Here are some of the regulars watching a memorable bit of telly from 2016. All I want to know is, what are they watching? Well, why don't they just lay the bloody eggs near the sea? Oh, Christ. Oh, oh no. Oh! It's gone. Oh, my words. Go, go, go. Oh, it kicked him in the... I didn't count it after him counting. That was close. So what what are they watching? Game of Thrones? That's the best guess. Uh I don't have anything. I don't I, think I, any just, I just remember when it when it came out, no one was ready for how kill happy dude was with his characters. Didn't even notice the the uh the coffee mug or coffee cup on there. He just like, I'm going to make these characters and elaborate backstories and that. That, that sucked. Because yeah. last season, F it. Is now the right time to ask for a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. A perfect time. Cool. You would yeah, like a blanket. I'm a bit... Is it, are you cool? Well, do you know what, Claudia, is it we... Oh, no! How you have you got a blanket on you? Can I just say, because you know how long the show is, we were going to slowly age. We thought it'd be funny. So me and, me and Joe got all things to age. And then... Seeing Jonathan now, how elderly he is, <laughs> we've sort of chickened out because we feel like we're mocking him. <laughs> we got to Oh, <laughs> shit. Do you need them? Um, we need didn't a... want to be cruel. Uh, you lend Claudia the blanket because... Do you want the blanket, seriously? <laughs> but, no, do you want it? It's fine. Are you sure? I've wet myself. I'm really warm. Where are these blankets coming from? What, what is happening? They brought some blankets with them. I've got a cloth cap. Do you want that? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's get back to the question. <laughs> we can't play dress up halfway through the show. It was a bit chilly. I didn't know whether it was the right time. It turns out it was. Mm. I feel like I'm in Oliver. If people are just tuning in, I've lost control. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts of Big Fat Quiz is the moment that Jimmy just loses control yeah. of it. And they just the contestants just go it, and do their own thing. It just happens every time, too. But consistently in the most random ways whether it be a tangent or props or food usually it's food right <laughs> this time it's props or or the, when they joke about jimmy's tax evasion <laughs> uh, he will never live that down never. in fact the day we're recording this is the day that that eight out of ten cats action is finally dropping on oh. youtube man and you lost the vote <laughs> You, you are dressed so appropriately for the following question. Back in 2015, over one million people signed a petition that was delivered to the BBC in a tank. Supporters of the petition had written comments such as, the only guy on the box who knows what he's talking about and keeps everyone highly entertained, an arrogant ape who does not know his boundary of insolence, but we love him, and I don't want to have to subscribe to Amazon. <laughs> what was the petition oh. for? To bring Jeremy Clarkson back to the BBC? And farm thing and the is top gear the to last prime, right yeah yeah they went to prime for that wow y'all complain about everything y'all are never it's happy like, get him out of here but how dare he leave mm -hmm. bring him back damn can't y'all just uh, chill for a minute it's impossible man it wouldn't be them if they were just chill if they yeah, were just right. chill they would be jamaica exactly which they did rule for a little bit they should have learned something from them. Right. I'm next to Puff. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's catching. Lastly, Game of Thrones was the TV show of the decade. The series was famous for killing off high-profile characters, with many dying in brutal and creative ways. What I want you to do is tell me how these characters died. So, Tywin Lannister. Oh, God. Ramsay Bolton. Lord Varys. Prince Oberyn. Oberyn, I think Oberyn had his head crushed by the mountain. Just okay. crushed. Everyone else did no clue, man. Yeah, and if you don't know it, I don't know it either. Might have something to do with boobs. Something to do with boobs. Breast. 
Yes, they all died from breasts. <laughs> the Scarlet Moffat asked you if you knew what hero started the decade by becoming a strong-jawed man from Northampton, then was a wiry Glaswegian before ending up as a determined Yorkshire woman. What did you think, Claudia Nish? The I Doctor from the programme Doctor Who, but the character is called The Doctor. Mm. What's that? Yes, I was an old virgin. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jonathan, Stacey? We also put Doctor Who, the show, and then afterwards, The Doctor. Yes, is mate. Yes. Yeah. Can I clarify it? I don't need to wear this hat for any questions. This is not part of the round. Oh, well, <laughs> no, you could take no, that off any time oh. you want. I don't know why you've got it on. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you just really say yes, you was, have to have the I hat thought on? I thought it was for a reason. <laughs> Alan, Joe, you got it? Doctor Who! You could be the next Doctor with yeah. that look. It was, of course, uh, the Doctor from Doctor Who. Fabulous, all right. Um, I asked you if you knew why Ryan Gosling was looking so embarrassed in 2017 at the Academy Awards. Uh, because they announced the wrong film. La Land was wrongly given the Oscar. Oh, Warren like, Beatty. Oh. Warren Beatty said La Land and then went, what's this card to Faye Dunaway? And it was... And yeah. he, he was sheepish. Can you say, guess which one of us... We didn't know the answer. We didn't know Guess which one of us write our answer. <laughs> <laughs> what was your answer? <laughs> <laughs> you know? He is me, exactly. And what did you get, Alan, Joe? Mixed up the best film. Oh, well, I think no point. Okay, okay I said... Yep. Uh, La La Land. It was like a, a Steve Harvey Miss Universe moment. I have to apologize. So give us the point. Yep. Oh, it's already okay. given. So it was yeah, obviously a uh, picture. They thought it was La La Land. It was actually Moonlight. Next, I asked you if you knew which memorable TV moment from 2016 the cast of Gogglebox were watching. What do you all get? Africa. Well, <laughs> Claudia Nish. Blue Planet. Because you thought it was Blue Planet. And we Alan and Joe, you Blue wrote Blue Planet too. Because that's the specific one. No. It was Planet Earth 2. Oh. All right, same uh, thing. It wasn't Blue Planet, it was Planet Earth. Oh. Because Blue Planet's oh, under the, the wall. I, I think we were the closest. We were probably the closest. It was Blue Planet and it was... But I'm it not was going Blue for Planet. who's the closest. No. <laughs> you all got it wrong. It was the iguana <laughs> versus the snake. It was the most incredible. Oh, Take a look. Flipping heck. I didn't man. count it after yeah, count it. Well, you're all wrong. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> intense, bro. I didn't know. That's really a thing? People watching, people watching things. That's why we had so much success. There you go. Because y'all eat that stuff up. There it is. My mind is officially blown. So it's we're basically another version of Gogglebox. Blue Planet. Next. We can get to that next. Yeah. Please. I asked you, what was the subject of a petition signed by over a million people delivered to the BBC in a tank? What did you put? To keep Jeremy Clarkson on top gear. Mm. Jonathan, Stacey. We also put Jezza Clarkson. And, yeah. uh, bring back Jeremy Clarkson. That's exactly right. OK, I asked you how uh, Ramsey, Varys and Oberyn were killed off in Game of Thrones. I got all of these, I'm sure. OK, what have you, OK, first up, tell me how Tywin Lannister died. <clears throat> he was shot by his son on the toilet with a crossbow. That is how I want to go. <laughs> Correct. Next one. You've got Ramsey Bolton. This little prick was eaten by dogs. <laughs> Uh, he was. That is my second choice of how I'd like to go. <laughs> uh, he was burned by a dragon. Lastly, uh, we had a horrible time of it. This is Prince Oberyn. Yes, he was fighting a big lad, and um, he was being quite arrogant about the fight, and uh, arrogance didn't serve him well because the big lad got him on the floor and crushed his head with his hands. <gasps> oh! Mm. All spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> also, the other big spoiler is the whole last series. We haven't actually seen it, but I think we gave it a good go. Yeah. Number one, dragon. Yeah. Number two, big dragon. <laughs> number three, boobs. And number four, natural causes. I Mostly. honestly think that would, I'm a different series, but it still would have been good. But <laughs> we've got, I think one is right. Two, the little, um, oh, he... Seen by dogs. Mm. But what is a dog if not a big dragon? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so you get one point. Uh, yes. for one point. <laughs> uh, Jason, yeah. you got one point. Blue by dog, dragon head. <laughs> Points. So I got one point. Yeah, one that. point. Yep. Okay, put us. We, we got 12. 12, okay. For a quick bonus round, we asked one of Britain's most distinguished actors and Tywin Lannister, Charles Dance, to read a selection of film reviews that were posted online by internet users. All you need to do is work out what film he's talking about. Here's the first one. They should have named the movie Sex and Even More Sex. This isn't a psychological thriller. This is a long porno with a ballet theme. One star. OK. A ballet theme? The uh, Black Swan or Fifty Shades of Grey? There you go. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Chose Black Swan because of the ballet. 
All right. Um, we'll we'll hedge our trades. bets on those yeah. two. Yeah. Movie was reviewed online like that. Quick, write it down. I'll give you the answer. Did he say it was a sex and more sex? It's not a psychological thriller. He said porn. He said sex. sex it's not a psychological thriller. And there's a ballet thriller. theme. Yeah. It's not like porn. Okay. Okay. Have a look. Let's see what you got, Claudia. What did well, you get? Well, I'm nervous about it. What did you get? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you just say to me? I just said it was sex. sex. There's no psychological thriller. It's about ballet. Yeah. Then you said it can't be Black Swan because there's no sex in Black Swan. Well, not sex like there is in Fifty Shades of Grey. But there's quite a lot more. All right, ballet. well, let's change it. It's <laughs> quite more ballet. Um, Joe, let's go to you. So, what do you think the film was? Um, Tam down. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> it is the filth. Jonathan, Stacey? Um, we went with Black Swan as well. We, have, we did get excited. We were thinking Fifty, 50 Shades, Shades, to be fair Billy to Elliot, but... but then the ballet... Oh, Billy Elliot. Right. Sex like a porno with a ballet theme. Billy Elliot. What have you seen? Well, Black Swan, you're absolutely right. Yeah, thank you. All right, you carried us there. One Yay. point. OK, to Charles Dance for the next one. There's a bit where you'll be like, that amount of water could never fit in there. But then you notice you've been watching a film about a magical aquatic creature for X amount of minutes, so you figure the film must be doing something right. And it does. Proper good it is. Have fun. Five stars. I just said a vote. Um, Aquaman? Sure. Bro. I got nothing. I got Aquaman? Nothing. I, yeah. It is. I don't know what it could be. I have no idea what it could be. I'm going to be very know. mad if I know what it is. <laughs> Very well known. In fact, Oscar winning movie to Stacey as a possible answer. She went, What the hell is that? <laughs> oh! There's That's absolutely not that! I can't believe okay. you all know this movie. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. It was my film. Very movie. uncultured. No. So just check. It's not strictly come dancing. <laughs> okay, all right, let's take a look. What have you got? I'm going to Alan and Joe first. They've almost certainly got it. Shape of water, isn't it? Water. Shape of water. <laughs> well, you've got, I think it should have been called Plenty More Fish in the Sea, but you've all got it right. Well done. Yes. I never would have gotten that. Nope. I've oh, heard of the movie, but yeah, never seen it, so. Okay, at the end of that round, let's check in on the scores. I can tell you that uh, and Nish have 17 points. Just ahead, Alan and Joe with 18 in the lead. Jonathan Stacey with 24. And where are we? We're at 13. Oh, my God. We are but doing very terrible. Very easy. It could be 33. Very it easy. Could. But we're not pushing that button yet. Right. We still have plenty of uh, handicaps to use in the second half. Tons. And it's considering how we're almost like the whole thing, like... They just start using them willy nilly. Yeah, flagrant handicaps. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. Time for a break. Our next round is called Advert. See you in five. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about science and technology. Unbelievably, Instagram was only created in 2010, and it's been hugely successful, because without it, how could you possibly know that everyone else's life is better than yours? <laughs> Amen. Trump went viral in 2017 after tweeting the word kafefe. <laughs> it makes no sense, it doesn't mean anything, and it sounds incredibly stupid. And that was before it tweeted the word kafefe. <laughs> <laughs> they discovered the Higgs boson particle in 2012. Of course, they should have called it the G-spot, because after thinking it didn't exist for years, it was finally found by some guy smashing things together at high speed in a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for, some, uh, ready for some more big fat questions? Yes. Yes. Okay. Up. First up, over to Bear Grylls. Hey, Jimmy, as you know, I love to push people out of their comfort zones. That's what we do at the Bear Grylls Adventure Park. Uh, we push people towards their limits every day. But one thrill seeker in 2012 broke world records in a $20 million stunt that millions of people tuned in to watch live. Can your teams remember what he did? It's about the, becoming the, a pirate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Right, Jimmy. Uh, that's my first comment. It was like, why does he look like a pirate? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bear Grylls, he is, uh, he's quite a character. Yeah, that's, but I think it's the Red Bull uh, skydiving from space. Yeah, yes. I, I think, think that's, that's it. it, the space yeah. jump. Yeah, I, I think you're right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 That's it. OK, what 2014 viral craze saw Mark Zuckerberg dare Bill Gates, who then challenged Elon Musk, yeah. who passed it on to Johnny Depp? He looks like David Williams, didn't he, the third Elon one? Musk and yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. David Williams could definitely 
pull off Elon Musk yeah. in a biopic about him, but yeah. which I don't know, Elon Musk would probably do just because he has that much money. Yeah. Um, what is it? A dare? Yeah, I think it was the ice bucket challenge. Or Ooh. Okay. Yeah. 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 The vi- viral is what take a shit it- on the bed challenge. <laughs> no, that's that's uh Amber Heard. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you Elon Musk then and now. It's amazing. So this is Elon Musk, right, before he had money, and now he's got money. Have a look. No. Yeah, amazing what uh, money can do to your hairline. And not even that, just shit tons of money. Yeah. Shit tons of money. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is what money can do for you people. He looks like an actual mole. (laughs) <laughs> yes, he's not, not like a spy, but an actual mole. Yeah, that's what I meant. OK, uh, I'm going to play you three sound effects associated with technology that has appeared in the UK in the last decade. All you need to do is name the product the sound is from. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. That's... Go, hello. Who wants to be a millionaire? Um, the third one? I thought that was all. Of, it's not all of them. No, no. The, the second one is definitely Netflix. Um, you, you want me to run those back? Yeah, run it back because I wasn't ready for the either the question or the sound effects. Okay. The sound is from. Here's the first one. Um, uh, that's Siri. Yep. Yep. Here's the uh, second one. Yeah, Here's yep. the third one. Netflix. Okay, what is the third one, though? Oh, man. It's not something we can use a handicap on, because I can't just go like... I don't know. Uh, Crosswalk. (laughs) Okay, fine. I I have nothing else, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Go, say that. C-3PO having a wank. Oh, (laughs) oh, That tracks. Yep. <laughs> okay, take a look at this picture. Why did this man and his dog go viral in 2011? Uh, I don't know. I have uh, no clue. What? No, no idea. I don't know. Moving on. With some confusion over the dog's name. <laughs> oh, what was his name? The beast of <laughs> can you just repeat the question? And in the question, can you give me a bit of a clue? Like mime something. I can't help you. It's a huge viral clip. It was enormous. It was everywhere. It's a man and his dog. Was he fucking the dog? <laughs> <laughs> not that one. So it's not like the dog's like a robot or some shit. The no. dog's not a robot. The dog is not a robot. <laughs> That's narrowed it down. That's helpful. <laughs> And for your last question in this round, it's over to uh, Sophia, the robot. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, my God. 2016 was the year I was activated, or as you humans say, born. But it was also the year that a major online poll was launched, giving the British public the opportunity to name the UK's new £200 million polar research vessel. The ship ended up being called the R.R.S. Sir David Attenborough. But that wasn't the name that topped the poll. Can your teams remember what it was? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, it's Bodie, Bodie McBoatface. Face. Jinx. Face. <sighs> That's what happens when you give the British people choice in a matter yeah, like a that. Bodie They'll come McBoat up with something face. stupid shit like Bodie McBoatface. It should have been named that. It really should have. I agree. It should have been. But I'm just saying. That's, that's the type of people you're dealing with. <sighs> Give us the point. Yep. So the good news is I've made myself a girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, it's it's an amazing thing. It's um, She was uh, activated on Valentine's Day 2016 and has over 50 facial expressions. That's three more than you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother. It's the, it's, the, it's the brother that got me, Nick. The brother. 70s hipster talk. <laughs> This cat's a jive token. 
I don't know the answer to question four, and I'm upset about it. I've written a funny one, <laughs> and I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> we'll be fine. The coffee's kicked in. In ten minutes, I'll need a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful... Sadly, too uh, late for Christmas number one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be a Christmas January number, number two. two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone's finished. Let's have some answers. Uh, Bear Grylls wanted to know what $20 million stunt broke world records in 2012. What did you all get? We put the Red Bull freefall jump from very high up, and we think the bloke's name was Felix Baumgartner. Wow. I'm afraid you've got the, the name a little bit wrong there. I believe the pronunciation, Alan and Joe? Bumgard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know this. And he just said, write down Bumgard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alan, it, even if you didn't say that, it sounds like the kind of thing you'd say. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Then he jumped out of the sky. <laughs> He did. And it's very high up in space. Well, that's where the sky lives, isn't it? Yeah, high high up. Up. <laughs> And the sun was smiling. <laughs> and yeah, he, he jumped out the sky. He jumped out of the sky. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Bumgarden. I don't think we could ask for more information than that. Uh, Jonathan, Stacey, you We guys? also put sky dive from space. But we didn't go with the... We didn't uh, kowtow to the promotional side of things by putting <clears> Red Bull in. I don't know what kind of sweet deal you're on there, Nish. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was Felix Baumgartner free-falling from the edge of space. Next, I wanted to know what viral craze saw Mark Zuckerberg dare Bill Gates, who then challenged Elon Musk, who challenged Johnny Depp. What did you all get? Ice bucket. Yeah. Yeah, ice bucket challenge. challenge. Ice bucket challenge. Ice bucket challenge. Ice bucket challenge. challenge. You're yeah, absolutely right. Well, why don't we take a look at one beloved TV personality, uh, host of The Apprentice, doing the ice bucket challenge. No way. Everybody's going crazy over no this way. thing. I guess they want to see whether or not it's my real hair, which it is. I'm challenging President Obama, <laughs> my son Donald, Shit. my son Eric. Let's go, ladies. Oh. <laughs> I still couldn't do that. What a mess. I love the fact that he only listed the names of his children that he can remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Barack Obama was his son. <laughs> I played you three. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was I was actually dared to do the ice bucket challenge by like one person, and I totally didn't do it because oh, I didn't man. even know what it was at the time. Yeah, yeah, no, there's no way in hell. I'm not. I'm sorry. What was it even for? To uh, raise awareness of ALS, you know, Lou Gehrig's disease. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Didn't even know that. That's crazy. I knew the, the the ice bucket challenge didn't know what it was for, and that's a shame. Yeah. Three sound effects. Ah, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you, did you get them? So the first one was... Siri. 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 Correct. Yes. The second one. Window. Netflix. Oh. Window. Oh. Window. Oh. Window. Oh. Window. Oh. Window. Oh. Netflix. Stacey? <laughs> what did you think windows. it was? Wind uh, okay. Windows. Okay. Oh, you thought that was you Windows 95. <laughs> you thought you this was like, the quiz yeah, of the decade and we were doing Windows 95. <laughs> I did think you were white. You did. You, you, I said, what, Windows? And you said, that's the one. Write it down. But you know what? That's my fault. If anything, <laughs> I'm an enabler. <laughs> okay, and the last one? Is that pager? Is that, that your pager, Stacey? <laughs> <laughs> FaceTime. So you think FaceTime? Okay, did you get FaceTime? Yeah, FaceTime. You got FaceTime? Yeah. We also uh, got FaceTime. No, it wasn't FaceTime, Windows. Sorry. Okay, so you got three points for Alan and Joe? Yes. 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 Claudia? Three if, or four, just for being chatty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got Netflix. it. And then... and then, so we get two, two. points out of that. So that gives yeah. us four points in the round. Yep. <sighs> yeah. The, uh, I think FaceTime, that's just a, an Apple thing, and I I never used it and because uh, I've always had uh, Samsung Androids. Yep. yep. So. Yep, me too. I didn't know that sound at all. Yeah, so. yeah. Never would have got that one. Nope. And Jonathan and Stacey, you get two points and a lifetime of shame, Windows 95. <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't Stacey's fault because I actually, I led in that direction, and I first thought I said, that's Microsoft Word. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you, why did this man and his dog go viral? Mish. He was a robot and the dog fucked him. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs>
No and no. Uh, Jonathan, Stacey. Close. Well, I remember the film because the dog ran off and it was like chasing deer or something in the park. It was running around the park and the man kept shouting the dog's name out. Which was? Well, we weren't... 100%. I thought it was Alan for some reason. Because <laughs> <laughs> do you remember... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alan. I know. <laughs> do you remember at one time everyone was shouting Alan? Yeah. That did that, happen, that didn't it? That was just on the way to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I must be... See, I didn't... Alan, come back here. You haven't paid. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Joe, Alan, can we have this delivered in the style of? Three, two, two one. one. Fenton! Fenton! Perfect. Let's have a look. Fenton! Oh! Oh! I totally forgot about that one. Yeah, I've seen that too. God. Yeah, me too. Man. Oh well. So points, points, no points. Very happy. <laughs> Lastly, uh, Sophia the robot wanted to know what topped the poll when the public were asked to name a two hundred million dollar polar research vessel back in twenty sixteen. What did you think? Both team, both face. You all got it. Yeah. Time now for a say what you see bonus round. Oh, oh yes. god, I hate these. Let's go. Let's go. Have a look at these pictures and tell me what story you think they're spelling out. Okay. Um Date Tongue Dayton Dayton Liam is that Liam Neeson? I have no idea. Day Tung Liam. Or Taken? Uh, Is that from Taken? It, possibly. Um, uh, money. Uh, what is that? What is that? Money, water, something Murray, oh. Murray Clown, Murray it, Al it. Ballot vote. I got, I got, I got nothing. Let's just move on. Yeah. Oh no no hold on hold on hold on hold on. It'd be data. I want to say taken. Data. Oh shit. Data. That's what that is. Yeah. Mon data okay. uh, taken. Drives or money. Till, okay, whatever. Yeah. Who's that? Yep, Kings. Who's that? Okay. Jimmy, who's that? Who's that in the third picture along? Um, that is, I could tell you, that is uh, Liam Neeson. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good one, isn't it? It's sad. It's, if you get it, it's very satisfying. Have you got it? Yes. Yeah, so I got it. It's one thing I can't work out. Yeah. Oh. That's, Let's have a look and see. You're so clever, Nick. We think it's day, date, are taken. Oh no, I'm trying to buy Cambridge and Analytica. That's the right answer. Oh. Data Analytica. Oh, wow. Never would have gotten that. Wow. Yeah, that was good. That was so good. Bye, bye. What, what did you get, Alan, Joe? Data taken, exchange Cambridge Analytica. <laughs> <laughs> Exchange. Bye. Of course, it was buy. I thought euros. Oh, exchange. I, but also, the, yeah. I went to the store that, oh. to exchange. Why you know. Why did you use euros? Yes, Jimmy. What's wrong with you? Why what, you what's sound? wrong with the pal? <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you've already got glasses on. <laughs> Jonathan, Stacey, what did you get? Well, we got da data taken. We knew it was Cambridge and we worked at Analytica. So well, I, I, tell you, we were... I tell you what I'm going to do then. Uh, Claudia, Nish, you get a point and you don't. You don't. No! Fuck oh! <laughs> off. <laughs> 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 OK, uh, let's see what that's done to the scores. I could tell you that uh, in last place currently, Claudia and Nish have 24 points. Ooh. Alan and Joe have 25. Ooh. Jonathan and Stacey in the lead with 30. Ooh. And where are we? We're at 18 without our 35-point handicap. Oh, my God. Damn. 
we're going to be using them willy nilly these these next ones. If we don't get an answer, it's going to be yeah. it's handicap time. Yeah. Next, listen, the next next decade. Yeah. We're we're, we're, we're winning. Yeah. Yeah. Mark my words, we're winning. Mm -hmm. I create the points. I'm the captain. <laughs> and I just go along with it. <laughs> Join us after the break for more of the quiz that's big, fat, and about the last decade. The clues in the name, really. See you then. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Decade. This next round is all about sport. FIFA football's world governing body was engulfed in claims of widespread corruption in 2015. Who would have thought FIFA would have been corrupt? <laughs> Everyone. Everyone thought that. <laughs> Hopefully FIFA can put the scandal behind them and get back to doing what they do best, pretending to care about racism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck those guys. What are you guys sticking up for FIFA? <laughs> no! Leave FIFA alone! <laughs> In 2016, the Olympics were held in Brazil. The pool turned green, but organisers insisted it was safe. Not to drink, of course, or to swim in, or to breathe near, but absolutely safe. <laughs> Jeez, it looked like the Hulk pissed in it. <laughs> yeah. London. I hope that one is chlorinated. Yeah. Jesus, why is it so green, bro? That's terrifying. It's greener than Shrek's dick. Yeah. Damn. And, uh, and uh, I don't know, man. This this year's Olympics was pretty nasty too in that oh, river. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. But yeah. Oh well. Hosted the Olympics in 2012. Some people thought the London Olympics were a waste of British time, money, and resources. And then along came Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, time for some more questions. Um, first up, it's over to footballing legend Peter Crouch. Hi there, Jimmy. I'm a big fan of Twitter and I love it when my tweets get shared. But back in 2014, a tweet from cricketing legend Ian Botham went viral when he probably didn't want it to. Hashtag middle stump started trending and Ian said his account had been hacked. But can you remember why? Why has he got Rob Beckett's teeth in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. No Moving idea, on. Man. Moving on. Next up, I want to know what 77-year-old sporting drought was ended in southwest London in July 2013. Okay, I'm going to use a handicap on this yep. one. Um, let's see, let me run the question back. Drought was ended in southwest London in July 2013. Okay. In July 2013, what 77-year sports drought was ended in southwest London? Um, Andy Murray rises up to end British men's long Wimbledon drought. So I think Andy Murray won, uh, won Wimbledon. There you go. There you go. We, we're going to hedge our bets on that because it's not yeah. a given. Right, right. <laughs> Google has messed with, me, with us uh, multiple times during this thing. It's yeah. not a guarantee. What? They can't, it can't just be that. I need a person or a video or a song. What's in southwest London? Got ya. Yeah, I mean, Nish wrote it down is what you got. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well done. OK. Take a look at this clip. All I want to know is what this man is talking about. Uh, so I, I would uh, make an agreement with the spectators. Uh, let's blow it, uh, but don't blow it all match because then you know everybody is sort of happy and uh, so definitely don't ban it. Part of South African football culture, leave it that way. But let's not blow it uh, 90 minutes at a time. Yes. <laughs> is it? Is it got to be like sports about like blowing? It's got to be something sport-wise. Yeah, ideally, this is the sports round, yeah. No, but no, if you want to just write like, some... You know, like a McDonald's hot apple pie and you have to blow it, like, for that. <laughs> you are so right. Yeah, you it's know. It's one of my favourite things, yeah, it's but it's dangerous. Molten lava and stuff. <laughs> Here's Gary Lineker. Yeah, uh, I got nothing. R I don't know. Yeah. Rugby. Rugby, R that's all I got. <laughs> Moving on. Favourite thing, yeah, but it's dangerous. Molten lava and stuff. <laughs> Here's Gary Lineker in his pants on television back in 2016. All I want to know is why. I give you a clue. It is not because one of my sex dreams came true. 
Uh, how many how many handicaps do we have? Uh, like, just use them. Just use just them. Use- yep. Why was Gary Lineker in his underwear in 2016? Um, Ma- Lineker on match of the day. Um, let's see. Um, he wore underpants, wore underwear to present the BBC's match of the day in 2016 because he kept a promise he made to his former club, Leicester City. The promise uh. was. Lineker tweeted in tw- in December 2015 that he, he that he would present the first match of the day of the 16-17 season in his underwear if Leicester won the Premier League. And oh, shit. Le- okay. Leicester City won the Premier League, and so he fulfilled his promise. So that's why, because Leicester City won the league. There you go. Man, Lineker is keeping it tight. But that's that's why he's doing it, because he's he wants to show off. That wasn't the reason. Yeah, it's not wasn't the reason he gave, but we all know the real reason was he's thinking, I'm in pretty good shape for a man in my mid-50s. Have a look at this, ladies. <laughs> well, I eat a load of just... crisps and I don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, finally in this round, have a listen to this audio clip of a tense, no-nonsense interview. All I want to know is who it is and what they're confessing to. Was it a big deal to you? Did it feel wrong? Uh, at the time? Mm-hmm. No. Lance Armstrong. It did not even feel wrong. No. It's scary. Did you feel bad about it? No. Even scarier. Oh. Lance Armstrong fessing up to using uh, steroids. On the moon. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, hundred percent. Just because I knew Oprah Winfrey's vo- voice, and I'm like, there's only one, especially yeah. in the sports realm, right? In the where, 2010s, where Oprah would fit in yeah. this category. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Now, are you ready for some answers? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Peter Crouch asked you uh, what embarrassing incident in 2014 uh, led to cricketing legend Ian Botham claiming his Twitter had been hacked. Yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> And saw the hashtag uh, middle stump go viral. What did your get? I know this very specifically. It, I put, it was a picture of his penis in inverted commas because he claimed it wasn't his penis. But it was, the problem is, you looked at it and went, that's Ian Botham's penis. <laughs> like, it, it looked beefy. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the picture. I've got a lot of questions. Okay, a question away. What would you like question to know? Question one, why would you send that particular photo? Two, why the four dots and two kisses? Where's the question mark? <laughs> so your problem is the grammar. Yeah. I've got a problem with the grammar, but also it's just such a repulsive position. Like, I'm not saying, I mean, the it's penis looks flattering. fine. It's not flattering. It's, and like, I it's think like a space it's... hopper with a slow puncture. <laughs> Okay. I'll just believe him. I'm not yeah. trying to look for that picture. Nope. <laughs> but like, it reminds me of similarly, like with uh, uh, you know, the whole Shannon Sharp incident that happened recently. No. He he was on Instagram live and he didn't log out and he kept he kept being live while he went and had sex with his wife. So, and then he claimed his account was hacked and then a couple of days later on whatever show it is he hosts. Uh, he he's like, no, I didn't get hacked. That's just a man being a natural man. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so Jonathan, Stacy, we put we, we we knew it was a dick pic. But middle stump penis, penis and, and Alan Joe, you got uh, Snake, penis. Yeah, great. <laughs> okay, points all round. Uh, I asked you what seventy-seven-year-old sporting drought was brought to an end. Southwest London, twenty thirteen. What do you all get, Claudia Nish? A British man won Wimbledon. Alan Joe? We just put women and we didn't know what was going on down there. <laughs> <laughs> you just thought some fun on the common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, we didn't know. We don't. We care. don't know. We're not into sport. We don't follow cricket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, Jonathan. We put out. Andy Moe won Wimbledon, ending the drought of a male British player winning oh. Wimbledon of 77. Of course, Virginia Wade won in 77. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I showed you a clip of a Dutchman talking about blowing something. What was he talking about? Vivu Zalers. Vivu Zalers at the World Cup. 
We were oh, close. Well, Jonathan said a vuvu. -vu. <laughs> uh, -vu -vu. I just went with it. And then what have you written afterwards? A vuvu. -vu. And well, then I thought, I'm going to try and put something in that it possibly could be. What is so it? So I said whistle trumpet. Yeah. Yes, lovely. The, the whistle lovely. trumpet. The famous South African whistle trumpet, the a vuvu. <laughs> What, what are you doing this evening? Whistle trumpet. Oh, he's a very lucky boy. <laughs> but it was like it a is a whistle trumpet. trumpet. Yes, it's no, a whistle I am. I am a jab hand at the whistle trumpet. Yes. <laughs> and Stacey Stance in the audience, you'll be pleased to hear. <laughs> that wasn't a rude joke. <laughs> are you sure? It wasn't. I think Dad, it was. It wasn't. <laughs> Uh, OK, uh, well, I think points all round. You're kind of vuvuzela or whatever that spelling oh, is. Vu -vu. OK, <laughs> I asked you why Gary Lineker presented Match of the Day in his pants. What did you all think? Midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'd do it if Leicester, Leicester won. won the Premier League and he said he'd do it on Match of the Day. Because it was such an implausible thing to happen, because Leicester have historically not been very good at football. <laughs> and then on that particular year, Jimmy, they played ever so well and they won the league and so... He had to present the show in his pants. Joe, Joe, you've been hacked. <laughs> OK, points all round. Uh, and lastly, I played you an audio clip from an interview. Uh, did you know who was talking and what they were confessing to? OK, so you got Lance Armstrong. Uh, Claudia Nish, you got it? Yes. Lance Armstrong, you yes. performance-enhancing drugs. OK, and uh, Alan Joe? Yeah. Lance Armstrong. I mean, it's probably <laughs> terse and compelling, this exchange. Oof. Take a look. Was it a big deal to you? Did it feel wrong? At the time? Mm -hmm. No. It did not even feel wrong? No. It's scary. Did you feel bad about it? No. Even scarier. Love that. Ooh. Well, that's killed the mood, is not it? <laughs> OK, time for another bonus round, and I'm incredibly excited to be joined by one of the stars of the biggest mobile game of the decade, <gasps> uh, Pikachu from Pokemon. Yeah. Please welcome our special guest. <laughs> hey, Pikachu. High five, Pikachu. Yay! Go and say hello to everyone. Go and say hello. Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! <laughs> Thank you, Pikachu. <laughs> Hi, Pikachu. Children are going to be so oh. good. Oh. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Joe, you think okay, Joe. Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu. 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 Okay, have you got a question? Now, Pikachu doesn't say much, so I've got I've got the question around your neck. Is it Sandy Toxvig in there? <laughs> <laughs> Sandy Toxvig, she's allergic to shellfish, it turns out. <laughs> um, <laughs> OK, um, okay. Uh, Pikachu's got a question for you. Yeah, all right, Pikachu, have a little dance round. Have a little dance round. Pika, Let's... Pika! Oh, lovely so Pikachu. Cute. OK, Pikachu wants you to name <laughs> a number of his friends. So here's three oh, of his oh, friends. Oh, oh, Just name them. Yeah. Couldn't be easier. Oh, I've got... got so many. OK, now we've got... Oh, oh my okay, God. Okay. Fish uh, in a barrel. OK, uh, uh, Squirtle, Pikachu, Charizard... And uh, Bulbasaur. I yes, think Charmander, and yes. Charmander, yes. sorry, sorry. It's all right, it's all right. It just hurt me. It's okay. But yes. I, know, I was close. That's that's the evolute, the, the evolve of uh, of Charmander. Charizard. Very true. Very, just, just four? Just four of his friends? Just, just the four right there. Um, okay. Squirtle, Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur. There we go. Yep. You got to name these ones. Just those three. Oh, Just those three, because Pikachu is one of them. Pikachu, start dancing, baby. Do you remember? Is that... <laughs> Pikachu, do the nay nay. Do the nay nay. <laughs> do the uh, do the break your legs. <laughs> Pikachu, do the skanky leg. Do come over. Come over here. Do the skank legs. Oh yeah. Okay. And now dab, well, dab a little bit, dab. Oh. Dab, dab, dab. Oh, he's so good at dabbing. <laughs> Pikachu dab. Pikachu, you nearly fell over when you dabbed, didn't you? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> oh, oh. He's only hugging me because he's exhausted. <laughs> OK, so have you named these characters? Yes. yes. Jonathan, what have you got? On the left, it's Squirtle, 
Then it's Charmander before he evolves into Charizard. Yeah, and then it is, of course... Um, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. OK, Venusaur. and you think, Claudia Nish, you think... We've got number one, Fenton, because we just... <laughs> number two, Black Swan. I wanted to get it in somewhere. And number three, Jason Bieber. Jason <laughs> <laughs> Bieber. <laughs> I think it's Charizard, not Charmander. But That's it, Charmander. It's it, definitely Charmander. It, it, it is Charmander. Charizard. 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 Yeah. And what else you got? Bulboa. Oh, <laughs> Bulboa? That's Rocky and, Bulboa. And, and, <laughs> and Myrtle. Oh, okay, okay, no, no points. <laughs> no points, no points. Three points. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, three points. So what, what does that put us up to? 23. 23, cool. Yay! Pikachu! So let's have a look at what that's done to the scores. Okay, so uh, Claudia and Nish are on 29, Alan and Joe are on 29, in the lead with 38, oh, Jonathan on. and Stacey. Oh, man. Come on, Pikachu. See you after the break. Come on, Pikachu. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Decade. Our next round is all about people. In 2012, TMZ leaked naked photos of Prince Harry in a hotel room in Las Vegas. Well, you know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays on the internet forever. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow consciously uncoupled in 2014. It was all very amicable until it came to deciding who got the CD collection. And then there was a massive row when Gwyneth refused to take them. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner came to prominence in 2015, right around the time Bruce Jenner mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> I want answers. <laughs> and Theresa May was Prime Minister from 2016 to 2019. I'm not sure what she's doing next. I'm guessing not Strictly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, time for some more. I love how on the uh, the logo of Big Fat Quiz, like it's got Teresa May just going. Yep, that's like, pretty like much that. what she does, man. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a woman that <laughs> I won't say it. Uh, anyway, we'll move on. Big Fat Questions? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Jimmy. I love the quiz. <laughs> Take a look at this picture of Gillian Duffy from Rochdale. She made headlines during the 2010 general election campaign. All I want to know is why. She was on about a month. Oh, God. Thinking back, what a lovely election. One thing happened. OK, next it's over to Strictly's Oti Mabusi, who has a question for you. Hi, Jimmy. There has been some amazing parents on Strictly over the years, and perhaps none as powerful as the royal couplings we have had this decade. Kate and William got married in 2011, and of course, Harry and Meghan in 2018. Between them, they have four children. But can you name them all? This is all Winkleman. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're using a handicap here. Yeah, I, yeah, of course, man. I don't know what their spawn's names are. What are the names of Prince William and Kate Middleton's children? Uh, Prince George of Wales, Prince Charlotte of Wales, and Prince Louis of Wales. Okay. And then that's the first part. What are the names of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children? Um, okay, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children are Archie Harrison Mountainbatten dash Windsor and. Jesus. Lilibet Diana Mountainbatten dash Windsor. Okay. Well, you heard it first, guys. You heard it from us. There you so go. There you go. Counts. All Winkleman. This is pure oh, Winks. As far as I can, I can tell, the whole lot of them is just a bunch of old white people and the girl from Suits. <laughs> I don't know if they're white because I don't see colour niche, but okay. <laughs> OK, uh, David Cameron was Prime Minister from 2010 to 2016. He gave us Brexit and he was the face of Piggate. Mm. But what did he do at this pub to make headlines in June 2012? Oh. Oh, didn't he... All right. Are, are, we, are we just using handicaps willy-nilly now? Well, no, no. Not, I think I think we'll get we'll get two more handicaps then. OK. All right. So we use one now or should yeah, we save we, it? We totally now? should. I want to see what the hell. 
he got up to in the plow. What did David Cameron do at the plow at Cadesson to stir headlines? We're learning here, guys. Left his daughter behind. Holy shit. Now, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Dedication. Dedication. Yeah. Yep. Brexit and leave your daughters. And a pig. I think he did. Thank you for coming. Take a look at this clip. All I want to know is, what are these people talking about? He was so great to even go there. So great. And then he's talking about it, and he's kind of like in that way educating girls about it. And A very inappropriate thing to say. It was disrespectful to her memory. It proves that he doesn't just care about his concert and his fans. He likes the history of the Netherlands. He went to Anne Frank's house. Anne Frank's house. Uh, Justin Bieber did, not Jason Bieber, um, and said that he believed that Anne Frank would be a believer. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, being a believer. You, you know what they say? No, 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 Claudia, stop. You've got to just answer it. Come on, have a guess. We I can't. No, no idea. idea. No idea. No idea. Well, this was an easy one, I guess. It's not an easy one. Jonathan, Stacey, you got this, right? We've got we this. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, so? Next one. Finally, in 2014, actor Shia LaBeouf wore a paper bag on his head to a film premiere. Oh, yeah. He had written a message on the bag. Ooh. Under your desks, you'll find a paper bag. I want you to write that message on the paper bag. Wrote, I am not famous anymore. I am not famous anymore. There we go. Yep. What did he have written on his paper bag? It was on the front of it, so where the eye holes are. Yeah, okay. What did Shia LaBeouf put on? Oh. Shia LaBeouf. It's not pronounced Shia LaBeouf, it's pronounced lasagna, actually. <laughs> lasagna. <laughs> OK, you ready for some answers? Have a look at this picture of Gillian Duffy from Rochdale. She made headlines during the 2010 general election campaign. I just want to know why. She's the one when they cut and said, there's going to be a general election. She went, blimey, not another one. Oh, no. No, no, no. no, no. no. <laughs> That might be 2017. Yeah. She was the woman that Gordon Brown called a bigoted woman. <laughs> when he left his mic when on, he, left he got his, in the car. When he left his lapel mic on, uh, yeah, and then it got picked up on the news. Uh, what do you think, Alan Joe? We've got the same. Gordon Brown said she was bigoted. Well, let's have a listen to Gordon Brown. So he left the mic on, got back in the car, and this is what he said. Oh, God. She'd never have put me in my thumb with that woman. Whose idea was that? No, I didn't see it. Sue, I think. It's just ridiculous. What did she say? Oh, everything. She just a sort of bigoted woman. Uh, said she used to be a rape. I mean, it's a ridiculous. Thing. So he called her a bigoted woman, so everyone voted for David Cameron, and things went great. <laughs> OK, uh, points, points, no points. Uh, um, it's all right, you still in the lead. OK, we went over to OT from Strictly. Uh, she had a question for you. William and Kate's and Harry and Meghan's kids, all four for a point. Winkleman wrote this down at a speed that I would describe for the royal family should be concerning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they are a kidnap risk because of you, Claudia. <laughs> yeah, what, basically. What have you what have you written? George, Charlotte, Louis, Archie. Okay, put them in order of preference. <laughs> <laughs> you've got you've Alan, Joe, you've gone with Well yet. Yeah, I wish I'd brought me commemorative plate then, because I could have read them off. But um you know, already got <laughs> George and Charlotte. But we would have written Ringo and Paul as well. <laughs> George, Charlotte, Ringo, Paul. And Jonathan, Stacey? Uh, we're so we've got Charlotte, George. Louis, and then we went with Alfie instead of Archie. But does that look like Archie from there? It's not clear. Maybe we did go with Archie. It was Archie. <laughs> was it Archie? With Arch an F. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Archie. <laughs> <laughs> OK, points to uh, Claudia Nish. We don't get anything. No. <laughs> yes. <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> More points. OK, so that's one point just for, for getting them all. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, okay. I wanted to know what did David Cameron do in this pub in 2012 to make the headlines? Oh, what did you put? God. He forgot he had a child. Yeah. There he is. Daughter in the pub. <laughs> I like that. He forgot his child inside. <laughs> yeah. That, that makes it sound like he was didn't have any joy. <laughs> he forgot the he child was... inside. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot he could <laughs> sing and dance and play. <laughs> he did forget his inner child, yeah. and it's very sad. <laughs> he also le left his real kid in the pub. <laughs> yeah. well, what's the etiquette, though, when you leave a kid? Because I ain't got kids. Mm. If you leave a kid in a pub, and if you lose one, if you, is it like umbrellas? If you see one that's a bit the same, you take <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I left his door. I had a similar question, because I don't have any. Yeah. Oh, my God, I love that.
Oh, man. Daughter forgot his kid. He forgot his child inside. <laughs> I showed you a clip and asked you what those people were talking about. What did you all put? I had a guess. Got a yes. My guess was Eamon Holmes said that the Netherlands is a shit on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just wrote Justin Bieber. And the we story is? Yeah, because he went to the Netherlands and he said something that was sort of inappropriate, but he didn't mean it. Yeah. And do you know what the story is? I don't want to... I don't want to expand. I don't want to, like, move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you no points here because it's not enough just to say Justin Bieber. No, uh, the answer went... is Jonathan Stacey? He visited Anne Frank's house and he wrote in the book that he thought she would have been a believer. Oh, God, oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Uh, How he... could you forget about that? He wrote... Justin Bieber wrote this in the, uh, in the book. Yeah. Truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully, she would have been a believer. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he was about 16 then, and like, I don't know many 16-year-old boys who go to Amsterdam for the weekend and bother going to the Anne Frank house. <laughs> Most of them are off their tits on brownies. <laughs> you really are a Jason I'm a Bieber believer. fan. <laughs> we are fans of Jason, and we don't care who knows it. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you paper bags. I said, what did Shia LaBeouf write on his when he went to a film premiere? Uh, to get your answers, just pop your paper bags on. Yeah, him, OK. I wrote it the wrong way round. That's fine. <laughs> OK, so, uh, Jonathan, you've got... God, it feels like the Ku Klux Klan have run out of budget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, with the glasses, you look <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> I feel like I'm in sort of an eyes wide shut party. <laughs> Oh, but in Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of fancy yeah, master, everyone's just got bags <laughs> over their head. I'm not famous anymore. You've got Jonathan? Yes, that's what I think you are. Isn't OK, and then, uh, Stacey, you've written... I've written the same, just upside down, yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> OK. It was this way round. Uh, Claudia? Same situation in this team. Yeah. <laughs> Ditto. OK, right, and then you've got, uh, Joe? Not famous. <laughs> and Alan? I'm not famous anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded very sad there. <laughs> well, you all got that. Points yeah, all yeah. round. Yay! All right. OK. Time now for a special bonus round. I'm going to show you three memorable photos from the last decade that have all been subtly improved. All I need you to do <laughs> is tell me who is in the original photo. So here's the first one. Just write this down on your screens. That's Adele, right? Adele, yep. Ah. <laughs> uh. I mean, I look terrific. All the grandmas. Oh, is that Jimmy? Have you only just realised? <laughs> <laughs> I just... I thought, oh, it's a handsome young woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's a great singer. It doesn't matter what she looks like. Exactly. Yes. It's about the voice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's not... That's me. <laughs> well, I know that now. <laughs> OK, so next one. Oh, oh, oh yeah. God. Jim, Jim Kardashian. Yeah. I don't want to give anything away, Stacey, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's my little face and that is my buttocks. <laughs> to break the internet photo. Oh, okay, and the last one? Uh, uh, Rishi Sunak? I think that's Rishi Sunak. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's the only one where the photograph is improved by having your face in it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, actually, you're right. No, it isn't. <laughs> Okay, have you got three answers now? Yeah. Oh, okay, let's have a look. What did you uh, what did you get? Adele, Kim Kardashian, and Ed Miliband. Okay, and I think everyone concurs. Yeah. We all got yeah. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, I thought it was Rishi Sunak. Sorry. So oh, we, we got, got two. We got two out of three. Yeah. So that gives us six points in the round. So what does that put us at? Wait, that gives us six. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We got two points, right? So we got we're up to twenty nine. 29, cool. Yeah. Absolutely right. Points all around. Let's take a look. Thank you. There's Adele. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and there's Kim Kardashian. And then the last one, Ed Miliband. There you go. Oh. <laughs> OK, so let's see what that's done to the scores. I can tell you that Alan and Joe have 35. Just ahead, Claudia and Nish with oh. 36. Jonathan and Stacey, 44. Wow. wow. Man. Join us after the break when it'll be like Breaking Bad in here. Extenuating circumstances will have made us turn to drugs. See you then. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back.
Welcome back to the final part of the Big Fat Quiz of the Decade. This next round is all about the talking points and water cooler moments from the past ten years. In 2010, Boris bikes launched in London. They're called Boris bikes because, just like Boris, they're heavy, cumbersome and constantly heading for a car crash. <laughs> Tinder launched in 2012 and apparently the most effective way to get a date on Tinder is to make someone laugh, which is why I always send a photo of my tiny penis. <laughs> Works every time. In October 2017, an unusual red sky was reported across London. You know what they say, red sky at night, shepherd's delight, red sky in the morning, global warming. <laughs> it was nothing to worry about, just a natural phenomenon, like the ice caps melting, all the bees disappearing, and Yorkshire being underwater. <laughs> OK, time for your last set of questions. What fad from the middle of the decade was described as wands of narcissism, the most shameless fashion accessory ever, and caused a journalist to ask, was the human arm such a problem? It's quite... Oh, man. Mid-20... What made the arm such a problem? Uh... I don't know. What fad? What made the arm such a problem? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, man. I... Couldn't tell you, man. Yeah. It's not the not the selfie. It's not that. The selfie was, stick? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I, I think let's let's put that one up. I'll go with that. By phone. Oh, I think you could I give you a clue. Right? It's not the flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> How do we cross this out, Jimmy? <laughs> 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 Okay, what must have beauty treatment from 2011 is being described here. I thought I might have misunderstood because it felt like they did have teeth. The sharp tickle was merely their strong, suction like mouths, frenzied slurping. Soon it became softer and gentle. Ah, oh, man. Oh my god, is that like the fish, like cleanse where they put like the um, fuck, the like you put your feet in like a fish tank and they like supposedly eat stuff off your feet i think yeah i i think i think that's what it was oh oh yes please <laughs> okay next it's over to mcfly for a question Hi, Hi Jimmy. Jimmy. Now we've had a good decade. I won Strictly. I was crowned king of the jungle. I joined the Voice Kids as a coach. And I became a best-selling author, but one of the biggest books of the decade was Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, oh mate, I love loved that. that, that. Yeah, classic. Yeah. Couldn't, Couldn't get in there. I was going <laughs> to read that <laughs> line. No. Anyway, back to the question. Can your team tell me by what name lead character Anastasia Steele refers to the naughty voice in her head? Oh, the voice in her head. Uh, how many handicaps do we have left? I mean, all. I mean, I just, I just don't want to bore the people watching. But yes, please get this right. <laughs> what did the female lead in Fifty Shades of Grey call the voice in her head? Inner goddess. Inner goddess. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So, Anastasia Steele from Fifty Shades of Grey uses what name to refer to the naughty voice in her head? <laughs> <laughs> Why did this family's BBC News appearance end up yes! with 32... Oh, <gasps> oh that's... Well, I guess I'll just... That's the one that the, ch the child came in yeah. uh, during the interview. There yeah. we go. Don't fuck myself, shall I? I mean... <laughs> I think Claudia might have it. Okay. Why did this family's BBC News appearance end up with 32 million views on YouTube and led to the father admitting it definitely wasn't staged and, yes, he was wearing pants? Is this is the best thing ever. No, um, yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. It's yeah. pretty good. OK. Dating apps like Tinder have popularised terms catfishing, ghosting and benching. Catfishing, uh, when you have a fake online profile. Ghosting is when you cut off communication with someone all of a sudden. Can you tell me what is benching? Yeah. Mm. Tinder... T Just, like not having them uh, as a regular partner, just having a roster that's, you know, having multiple partners at one time, um, whether the other partners know it or not. Got it. Yeah. So I think benching is probably taking someone going from, you know, monogamous to not. Okay. 
Okay. I, I, I don't even know that one myself. Tinder is, uh, it's grinder for straight people. No, well, none of us have been... Too much. There shouldn't be, I know. I, it I don't... It look, shouldn't be allowed. I don't approve of that. Do you that. know what? My problem is I just don't want to hear about it. No. no. I don't want to hear about what they're getting what up to. What straight people do in their bedrooms is up to them, but I just don't want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, okay, is everyone finished? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's get finished. some answers. Okay. Uh, I asked you what was described as wands of narcissism and the most shameless fashion accessory ever. What did you get? Selfie, selfie stick. stick. Selfie we stick. said selfie stick too. Mm. Points all round. Selfie oh, sticks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I asked you what must have beauty treatment from 2011 was described as I thought I might have misunderstood because it felt like they did have teeth. The sharp tickle was merely their strong suction like mouths. What did you all think? Um, fish eating pedicure. Yeah, fish pedicure. Sorry, the fish, fish eating eat pedicure. Food. Yeah. Well, you eat fish. No, no. No, the fish food. eat you. The fish eat you? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Claudia Nish? Fish pedicure. Fish uh, pedicure. Alan, Joe? Yeah. Uh, fish they eat dead skin. Well, you're all absolutely you right, go. yeah. Oh. Good. Oh. Yeah, because... The boys from McFly wanted to know what Fifty Shades of Grey character uh, called her naughty voice. We're happy with our answer. <laughs> Fenton? <laughs> you think Anastasia Steele's sort of the naughty voice in her head was? Yes, yeah, Fenton. <laughs> we just learned about that video tonight, and we really that love film it. would be so much better <laughs> if every time <laughs> Mr. Grey walked in, Fenton. <laughs> Uh, what, what have you got? Uh, well, we Stacey? didn't know. I... Well, neither of us have read the book. Neither of us have seen the film. So we. I assumed it was the devil. <laughs> you think the voice from downstairs would be <laughs> the, devil. the devil? Well, we you said it was the voice in her head. You said it was it the voice in her head. Sort of inner voice. Yeah. Yeah. So Stacey guessed devil. I guessed Pippin. Pippin. Like you'd give a name. You'd say, "Oh, Pippin's awake again." <laughs> like that. That's the sort of name I'd give. I'd say, "Oh, Pippin. What do you want, Pippin? Kill again." <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Fifty Shades of Grey is about? <laughs> I haven't read it, but I assume it's a mass murderer. <laughs> okay, what, what did you get, Alan Joe? Uh, it was Rebecca Vardy. <laughs> <laughs> did you read it, Alan? Fifty Shades of Grey. No, oh. I didn't. I thought the film was rubbish, and there's not many times I lose an erection in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, she, she called it her inner goddess. There we uh, go. Wow. No one gives a fuck. OK. Um, <laughs> I asked you why this uh, family's BBC News appearance got 32 million views. Yeah. <laughs> ah, absolutely <laughs> acting it out. Absolutely amazing. I mean, it's the best clip ever. Yeah. Where, oh, do, you want to do you want to recreate yeah, it with the chair? Out of the chair? Yes. If you move that, if you do the chair and... I... I'll be the newscaster. Well, I mean, I'm doing the interview on Queer, and he's going... Yeah. So, as you'll see, uh, the situation oh, wait, on Queer <laughs> couldn't be far worse now. Beat them up! Beat them up! They never quite know it. It's an act of aggression. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, that was... yeah. <laughs> no, did you even believe it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God! So good at <gasps> They bought it! <laughs> yeah, did you really think that teeth would come out? <laughs> also, if you had false teeth, would you really go for those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was, that was a remarkable recreation there. That was like something from Crime Watch. Let's take a look at the original clip. <laughs> oh, yes! Uh, the question is, how do democracies respond to those scandals? <laughs> uh, and what will it mean for... Uh, for the wider region, I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift is shifting, <laughs> shifting sands in the region. Do you think relations with the north may change? <laughs> um, I would be surprised if you the, um... Pardon me. I love that. Man. I love that. It's amazing that we haven't had really had a, a moment like that with with you. With, no, man, with Alexander. No, no, just it's, very, very few times. Usually, when when I'm recording, you know, when I'm just supposed to be 
doing my stuff is when I usually get the, what the fuck are you doing right here? You know, because I'm in, I'm in it. I can barely hear them. But there are times where I upload where apparently Alexander's like right on the steps yelling for me. I'm like, damn. And you can't hear because you got your, yeah, your I got earphones, earphones in. You know, and I tell Holly that all the time. I'm like, dude, like when I'm here and I have these on, I mean, I, I hear Tuck, but that's just because he's a freaking Clydesdale walking above me. Right, and right. And when Bella was still with us, I would hear her barking if uh, something, if yeah. Nana came home or something like that. So sometimes it did bleed through, but uh, yeah. we're going to keep that in. Oh, yeah, morning. always. Yeah. Okay, I asked you what the term benching, uh, made popular by Tinder, meant. Uh, Claudia Winkleman, Nish Kumar. We've put, you pause the relationship, oh, you, to have, them. you have another relationship, but you don't break up with them. You just sort of pause They've the relationship. Benched. Like you're not on a football field. Yeah. I'm going to bench you. The right answer. Is it? Is it yeah. really? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so well, what do you get, Jonathan Jones? Well, the same yeah. sort of thing. You keep them on the bench for later. Yeah, yeah you nice. keep someone in reserve. Benching yeah. Island, well, we've go. put this, but I don't know why Joe's written it like he's from the Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so substitute, can I give you something for substituting? Yes, you can, you can yeah. bench for later, go on substituting the bench. them for a little while. Okay, yeah. points all round. Yay! Yay. Hey, we slept around. Yeah, we, we got did. five. We around. Man. Yeah. What's that put us? Ooh. Man, we got 30. What do we got? What do we have? 30? So 35, 34. We got 34. Sorry. 34. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Finally, it's time for the big question. Ladies and gentlemen, to ask it, please welcome Charlotte Crosby. I came in like a <laughs> All right. Oh, the wrong way. Hi, guys. Hi. I thought I was going to be the wrong there. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know when I was going to come through the wall. I started to panic for a second. Hi. Hi, yeah. Uh, hi, Jimmy. It's like another sex dream coming true. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so you got a, uh, a big fat question for us? I have, I have. I, I want... tell you, what, it looks like you've got a massive hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. So I've... it's funny that because that hemorrhoid was also a hemorrhoid on Miley Cyrus's credibility and career. Oh my God, she went nuts. Yeah, yeah. Done helping your father is the the guy that's saying achy breaky heart though. Yeah, true. Uh, but you know what? To her credit, she she's done her due diligence trying to come back right you know? right i'm still mad at her for uh copyright striking my music channel for yeah. doing a mashup that had flowers in it which is 100 percent a ripoff of when i was your man by bruno mars i don't care what anybody says man <sighs> sorry i was I, I had to get it off my chest you went you went there yeah. <laughs> i've got a question for you thank you what was the uk's biggest film at the box office the most watched TV show <laughs> and the best selling album of the decade. Okay, well, if she falls over and dies, I can tell you that this will be the most watched show. Okay. <laughs> and there's 10 bonus points if you get all three of these. That looks like 10 so bonus much points, fun. so anyone it's could so win. It's so relaxing. It looks oh, really therapeutic. It feels like I'm in the womb. <laughs> How big was your mum's womb? <laughs> I'll give you a slight clue with the TV show. Event. Think big event. Wait, oh! oh okay. Which wins? Okay, okay. We're using Ooh, a handicap on this last big one. Big event. Ten years. Decade. Oh. What was the biggest grossing film in the UK in the 2010s? Uh, Wait, a let's see. Um... Pinner inflation. Um, okay, so it, it's saying on here that the highest grossing in was uh, of Avengers Endgame uh, or Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows or Skyfall or Gravity. Let's just throw those at the at it and see what happens. 
Okay, I want to say I want to I want to go with I'll back Skyfall and Avengers because that was just yeah. global. Right, right, right. Um, what was the best-selling album in the 2010s in the UK? Adele, probably. Uh, yeah, Adele 21. All right. Now, big event. What do you think before I try? And- I, it has to be a wedding, a royal wedding of some kind, or Kate Middleton and uh, Prince uh, William. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it. What was the most viewed television program in the 2010s in the UK? I think it would have been event. Television broadcasts. Um. Uh oh my god. Um Yeah, I think I think that's the King's Court. No, no, that was the 2020, sorry. Um Oh man. I think if we stick with Royal Wedding. Yeah, I, ro- Royal Wedding. Let's I just think, say Royal Wedding. I think that's 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 enough right there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. I, I, I don't know, but you, you really have to stop taking whatever Nish has been giving you. Um, all right, so have you all got answers? Yeah. Okay, so what did you all think the biggest film was? What, what did you get, Jonathan? We thought we what put Frozen. What? Frozen? Frozen. Interesting. Yeah, we it was got big. Frozen. You got Frozen, and what did you go for, Claudia or Nish? Skyfall. Skyfall. Oh. That's it. Well, I can tell you, the answer is... It is Star Wars: The Force oh, Awakens. Oh, oh, oh that as well. Oh, sorry. Ah, that was, Skyfall is, I one. believe, a second. Yeah. Good. Oh my God! Seriously, Star Wars, especially the beginning that of one? the worst, beginning of the worst of the trilogies. No, it's fine because you know what though? We just started getting duped. That was yeah. the first one. We didn't know how bad it was. So. Yeah, yeah. The anticipation was there. Um, okay, most watched TV moment. Uh, what did you get, Jonathan Stacey? We put the Olympics opening ceremony. Oh, it was close. Okay, what, what did you get, Claudia? The Olympics Nish? opening ceremony. Okay, what did you get, Alan Joe? Opening. opening ceremony. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, no, it fucking isn't. <laughs> that, is, that is the correct. We Have a read it. of it. Have a read of the words. The Olympics closing. <laughs> Closing ceremony, <laughs> not the opening, the closing. It's all fair, the same, really. It is all the same. <laughs> Jimmy, to be fair, Charlotte's trying to do it sitting on a wrecking ball. You've been fucking up all night, and you're standing there. <laughs> <up home. laughs> yeah, good point, John. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, points all round for the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then what do you think the biggest album was of the last 10 years? We thought it would be 21 by Adele. Mm. We thought that. And what did you think? We went with 21 by Adele. A 21 by Adele? What's the answer? 21! Yeah. Points all round! Hey, okay, so we got we one. Two, so that, that was worth two points. Where does that put us? 36. 36. We lost. Hey, but... but... <laughs> But we still got a lot of points, man. Yeah. We still got a lot of points. I mean, for, granted, granted, we we did use a plethora of handicaps. Yeah. But still, 36. Every every question, we didn't use a handicap. All right? And look, Google steered us wrong. It's done it before. <laughs> handicaps are no promise for points. Right, right, right. Okay. So it was Star Wars The Force Awakens, uh, it was the uh, Olympics closing ceremony, and it was 21 by Adele. Okay, and that means the final scores are... Alan, Joe, uh, it's not great, you got 41 points. <gasps> you did not win, you came last. <laughs> You're a disgrace. Commiserations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Claudia and Nish, you got 42, you did very well, but the winners, Jonathan and Stacey, come and collect your trophy. <laughs> Panel, our special guests, and thanks to all of you for watching at home. This has been the Big Fat Quiz of the Decade. I've been Jimmy Carr. Good night. Man. 
even with all the handicaps in the world, we lost big time. But it was a high-scoring game. It was. So, they yeah. got 50 points, man. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I guess going forward, we're just going to have to throw every single uh, handicap if, out there. You know Unlimited what, handicaps. You know what the thing is? Is if it's – if. <laughs> If we think we can Google the right answer, yeah. If you could. think it's a it's a simple Google, then we can do it because yeah. those saving the handicap to the end has been the bane of our existence because yeah. we just don't know how to either ask it or Google it or it's because it's so far in the back. It's already quantified the earnings of those videos, or right. movies. Right. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway. Oh well. But anyway, the next Big Fat Quiz is year 2020. So this this Big Fat Quiz was the final Big Fat Quiz of the world we used to know. Correct. Yeah. Cool. So that's something to think about for next week. Yeah. Anyway, oh thank y'all for watching. Uh, YouTube, subscribe, watch another video. Patreon, thank you for your patronage. What now, Dan? Unplug and do something legendary, guys. Exactly. And we'll see y'all next time. Later.